Hey guys, Omni here. So I know I'm late to this, but I'm finally gonna be checking this out. I know there was a trailer revealed, but there's also apparently like some information from the actual stage that is pretty vital to like some of the announcement here. And I figured we'd just watch the whole presentation. And that of course is for Mortal Kombat 1. After MK11 reboots the timeline yet again, we are starting off a whole new numbering system with a whole new storyline. Uh, from the get-go, and I'm really interested in this, especially from the revamp, from just the changes already, just innately, from Liu Kang ascending and then basically becoming overlord of this new era, this new timeline, but still somehow that was supposed to be like, you know, the perfect timeline or whatever, that it was supposed to not end in this endless violence or whatever anymore, or at least that's the idea that I got from it, maybe I misremembered that, but... Here we are back again, getting into the swing of things. It's inevitable. But anyway, I'm excited to check this out. I don't know how this is going to go because with YouTube and their no whole all their like new guidelines, especially how it affects gaming with like excessive gore, dismemberment, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I might have to blur or whatever. Uh, so who knows? We'll we'll see how this goes. I'm going to experiment a little bit with this. So. Hopefully, I can just put it up as is, because I've seen some people do that, but, you know, you never know. Anyway, guys, we're going to be watching the full presentation, um, and yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. Hell yeah, man. Okay. Oh, dude, is that? Yeah, whoa. I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down. Dude, I like the vibe. Casual Kung Lao, man. Dude, yeah, yeah, looks like Mortal Kombat. You have proven worthy of joining us. Come, oh, there they're are already champions, I must gather. They're already the like chill with Sentinel. each other. It's my chill blade. with each other. Sento's mine, and I won't give it up without a fight. Can she pre-blind? Is that Johnny? Yo. Uh, this must be those cameo fighters they were talking about. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's Johnny Cage. The, well, the, the ball punch solidified that. Protector of Earthrealm. God. Fire. Dude, I love how Liu Kang finally kind of leveled up because the franchise just kind of gave up on him after a little while. Dude. God, man. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience Yo. I lack, I make up for it. Rookie Raiden? Dude, roles have been reversed. Dude, look at those classic outfits on these cameo fighters. <laughs> if your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? After 100 years... <laughs> After 10,000 years, I'm free! It's time to conquer Earth! <laughs> Sound like Rita Repulsa, man. I can spit all over myself. I like this music, though. Yo! Dorky Striker. Just Striker in general. Popping up, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Dude, that's a... Dude, he freaking, like, lotus him. <laughs> oh 
Oh my lord, dude. Yeah, it's Mortal Kombat, man. Also, I just love the color palette. Like the white with the red and blue. The fire and ice, the fire and lightning, rather. That classic fatality right there. These different outfits, dude. Pre-order now to get Shang Tsung. If you don't pre-order, do you not get him? Rude. <laughs> that one dude in the back. Hell yeah! Now, I'm sure you have many questions about what we just saw, and to tell you more, I am so honored to welcome to Summer Game Fest one of our boom, industry's boom. greatest creators, a man who has been loyal to the same franchise and fan base for more than three decades. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! Yeah, dude! <laughs> they love you. All right. Well, Ed, uh, first of all, thank you for that incredible uh, world premiere. We got to see all the gameplay of MK1. And everyone just wants to know more about this. Because first of all, this is in a, it's, it's MK1, right? We went from 11 to 1. So tell us about this. Is it a new timeline? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how many people have yeah. seen the, the ending of Mortal Kombat 11. Liu Kang basically was kind of graduated into like, you know, a fire god, right? And he's, he created a brand new universe. And this universe, this is why we're calling it Mortal Kombat 1. Is Dude, MK1 was one of the first video the games I ever played. A number of these characters you've seen before, but they're told in and a And we're just back to another story. MK1. Sub Zero and Scorpion are brothers now, and there's, there's what? all these things that were rivalries before are now allies. Oh, so whoa! Up. Holy so shit! Kind of rebooting, and that's what the one is for. Well, it dude, looks incredible. I, Everything we saw I need to was, see that know, dynamic, game, dude. Gameplay, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be incredible. playing this one. Uh, I know the team is working for four years on this, but the thing we gotta talk about are these cameos because we saw some pretty amazing stuff there now so tell us how does that work you obviously you have your sort of your main you know character that you'll pick and then i know you also have a separate kind of cameo menu so you pick sort of a pair when yeah. you start the game yeah normally in, in a fighting game you'll you'll see a, oh, it's a pretty a decent roster, roster right there man you select your character after you do that there's a second roster of characters which are a whole new, uh, completely different so. fighters that are the cameo fighters, and these fighters actually uh, okay join the fight, but they a lot but of they, blank squares there. Dude, this so really looks like uh with Sub -Zero, but you have like the Ultimate Jackson Ninja Storm you games, you the way they would do things. Times, as you saw in the gameplay, you know, so you can piece, to, you, you can basically combine these two characters. All the characters can be combined with all the cameo fighters, and that's where you see that's where the players' kind of imagination comes in, and they can actually customize it for what they like seeing uh, you know the, the best team ups well so how does that work so you're in gameplay you have your main you have your cameo how do you do you summon them is it time based like how often do they come in to, like, it's not a tag team thing right Where yeah, you, yeah exactly and and you're you're basically summoning them it's just one button push is basically summoning but they have a variety so you can go you know push that button with yeah, see. Boards and it'll do it this is just move. like ninja storm down, it'll do a different move okay. and so the combination oh i see so you can bring them in a combo almost. exactly okay. exactly and and so and you see there's like a meter up on top, uh -huh. which is basic. That, that'll limit it, so you can't obviously fire them indefinitely. But um, you, call, you can call them pretty much whenever you want. And they have, you know, like in the middle of a combo, they'll have a lot of, um, oh you know, basically a whole arsenal of their moves. So Sony, you saw come out there. Sometimes you'll see them appear twice in there. It's amazing. So time-based, they come out. And then obviously as you go through. No, they do seem way more there, versatile, it's, it's like in what you can do with them be in the cameos or there's some repeats then what well, you could in like ninja yeah, storm yeah. some of the characters are going to be available as cameos as well as the main roster fighters you can play sub-zero okay. with sub zero right? <laughs> just like ninja storm <laughs> <laughs> you can same thing with scorpion but a, a lot double of zero our, man our cameo fighters are kind of like dub zero uh -huh. first game so you'll notice sonya and kano and Jax are in their kind of older costumes and so there's there's a lot of that novelty we have a lot of like really surprised ones i think you, you guys saw goro yeah mm. Scott, what's in there yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there's a lot of like kind of really digging into the old Mortal Kombat games as mm. far as getting, you know, um, we really love the novelty of it. We really want the cameo characters to feel, uh, you know, kind of nod to the old games. What? So, <laughs> well, speaking of uh, not the old games, let's talk. You, you confirmed, I think, or at least known that Jean Claude Van Damme is actually going to be in this game as really, Cage, right? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, <he is. laughs> 
Wow, that's a that's a full circle moment right there. Yeah, it, 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 it's a huge first uh, full circle moment. You know, the the first Mortal Kombat game we originally wanted to be Van Damme the video game, and that and that never really worked out. So yep. I, I can't tell you how many times over the last. Yeah, that's years crazy. Tried to get him. Uh, you know, we were this close, yeah. like four or five times, and uh, so finally we got him, and he's doing the voices too. Wow! So you're gonna hear John Claude. Dude, it didn't sound like him at all to me, though, like in the trailer. Wow. Well, I know the team has been working That's crazy. So in Chicago to build this through COVID, and it's coming out in September, so we don't have to wait long, right? That's right. With this, Dude, this is so very soon. Difficult, uh, Damn, I'm gonna be out of town the last, over the last four years when that game comes so, out. Uh, but we're. We could not be Wait, no, I'm not. No, I won't. Of, uh, I'll be back by then. I'll be back by it. then. Um, and, you know, throughout the summer, we're going to be showing a lot more content, a lot more characters, a lot more cameo characters, you know, so there's a lot of reveals that are coming up. Amazing. Well, Ed, thank you Dude, so much. Dude, I'm really for looking forward to one. more info and about this game. This weekend, people will be playing it, press and media, so we'll be seeing lots more coverage. Mortal Kombat is basically like the only on the like traditional fighting game that I give a shit about. First look at Mortal Kombat. Awesome. Thanks but I, I grew up on it. I was always an MK person. Wow, that just so abruptly ended. Damn, man, that was exciting. That was cool. With a capital K. Oh. Uh, I never... I don't own MK11. I just watched a story walkthrough of, of it just because, like, I don't know. I just didn't have the time when it came out to really kind of dive into it. I had played MK10... MK9. I pray, played every entry in this in the series. Though there have been a couple of spin-offs I never played to completion like Shaolin Monks and um a couple of other ones here and there, but as far as the mainline goes, I've played every game. And I'm just excited to see what they do with this because they you know, we had the reboot before where some things played out fairly similarly, but then things started to change because of Raid's visions from himself from the original timeline. And then, you know, but now it's like a complete, complete shakeup. You know, Raiden's not even a god of thunder. He's just a monk that has lightning powers. And Liu Kang has taken that position and, it, you know, has remolded this world in an attempt to kind of strike some sense of balance back into things, but it's still kind of finding its way to kind of go out of balance. It seems like seeing these characters kind of come in this like shuffled nature, like Sub-Zero and Scorpion having traditionally been from two rival clans, you know, not related by blood or anything at all, but like enemies. Uh, for a long time until they finally learned the truth about that rivalry, what pitted them against one another, and kind of ended that. Now, they're just straight-up brothers. I mean, unless they went, like, as much as you are brothers as you are, like, with your friends, but he, he seemed to heavily, at least the way I took it, he seemed to imply they are blood-related in this, and that changes their dynamic completely. Like, they seem to just be there together, you know, none of that rival. I mean, just from the little glimpses we get, they are, they are working together actively under Liu Kang. That by itself, without Shang Tsung's magic getting in their heads, forcing them to work together like a, they did originally, I'm just wondering, like, what this is going to do and how that dynamic's going to shift. And then Melina and Katana seem to have a different relationship as well. And her... Uh, like, and this they call it a disease before she was kind of genetically engineered from the Tarkatans, which kind of resulted in her having their iconic kind of like mouth. But in this, it's some sort of disease they're saying, and maybe they are just actually blood sisters in this. And I don't know, seems like she's actually up for being queen, but then, oh, there's just these nice little nuggets and shifts. Dude, and Kenshi coming in, challenging Johnny Cage because he's in his mansions, just got one of his heirloom swords from his family hanging up in there, and just, like, all these little things here and there. And then just the fatalities themselves, you know. And, you know, we got the x-rays back yet again. Uh, the fights and the gameplay looks just more polished. I like the updated designs as well. I love the current... Uh, the new character models, 
the new looks for some of the characters. They're definitely updated, a little modern, especially that Kung Lao, like seeing him not in the traditional monk stuff we're used to and just kind of in this like hoodie thing was kind of, I don't know, I kind of dug that. But then again, through the cameo fighters and then through probably costume swaps, we have these homages to the uh, OG costumes, like the MK1, MK2 stuff, like with the cameo fighters. I'm very curious which cameo character is going to be exclusively cameo and which ones are going to be characters you play as. He mentioned Sub-Zero you could cameo with, so you could have Sub-Zero and cameo with yourself as well. So that that's a fun way that you play with that. So at least he confirms some of that. But I'm wondering, because that roster, the cameo roster doesn't look very large. The main roster that you pick from looks fairly decently sized. So like not every playable character could be a cameo fighter because otherwise that cameo fighter list would be way bigger than it is. So I'm wondering who is, who isn't, and then maybe who is exclusively a cameo that isn't playable. You know, I'm very curious to see how you can mix and match these things and how, where we'll go with that. And then just who the guest fighters are gonna be this time around as well. I don't think uh, I've heard about any of the possibilities for that. Um, if I have, I, I've forgotten by this point, you know, um, but yeah, guys, this was fun. I'm excited for this. I will probably try to play this on the channel when it comes out because I really do love this series. And I do wanna do more game stuff on here. I just finished my entire run through of uh, Jedi Survivor. I really need to go back and finish God of War Ragnarok, but I got a couple of other ones planned out. Obviously, we will be doing Spider-Man 2 when that comes out, and uh, I think this one will probably uh, land on the, on that list as well. But guys, what did you think? What are your thoughts? Um, sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Share, Ryan Karen, Philly Vane, Yori Coruscant, Margaret Grace, Melito, Robert Anguiado, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake and Trell, Tiff, and Eric Official. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.